for the Yoko's Grown. As you can see, we are inside the house because it's time for our weekly chicken vlog. This is episode three for those of you who are new. For those of you who are returning, welcome. I'm so glad to see you again. The chickens have been with us for about 20 days now, and man, have they changed a lot. They went from tiny little fuzzy chickens to some of them almost have full feathers, and just their forehead and chest are fuzzy. It's, it's amazing how much they've changed. We had a couple of incidents that were kind of scary that it was time for the start them on giving them some little things like dandelions and letting them peck at those and peck at the roots and what I didn't know is the first time chicken mama is that chickens keep their their stomachs are right here kind of up on their chest so each one of them had this swelling of their chest and I thought oh my god I've killed my chickens no it was normal I just kind of increased um, some of the electrolyte probiotic in their water and that helped to flush them out and nobody got impacted so that was a great thing and I truly truly appreciate mypetchicken.com because when that happened, I ran right to that site and they helped me. They have a little chat that people will talk to you and they were like, don't worry, everything's okay. It's normal. And since that day, they have tried, let's see, they've tried cabbage leaves, which they didn't like. They tried a strawberry, just one right out of the garden. They didn't like that. Um, they have tried, what was it? Not cabbage leaves, uh, cauliflower leaves. And they absolutely loved that. They ate the, the whole cauliflower leaf down to a nub. And then the other thing that they really like is watermelon. Um, for those of you who don't know, it's at 100 degrees every day here. And it started that at like the second week of May, which is kind of unheard of for he here. Typically, we don't start seeing those till mid-June, July. So we wanted to get them used to something really cold because I intend that when summertime comes on, I'm going to make those frozen um, rings with the bump pans and we're going to put fruit in there. So I'm trying to introduce them to fruit that I would have readily available to me in the summer watermelon being one of them because it is also water so it's really nutritious for them but with that being said without further ado let's me let's go see the chickens okay girls all right so we are gonna give them some watermelon and get them to come to us. So, gotta make some adjustments. The door's opening different than they're used to, so. And that's my fault because. Okay, here we go. So, here they are. And they love watermelon. <laughs> here, girls. Stay in, the, stay in the coop. So, as you can see, <laughs> Pearl. Calm down. They absolutely love it. This little girl right here, this is Ostara. For those of you who wanted a better look at her, she's getting a little more brave. Of course, you can see Pearl trying to get out. This one right here, this little girl right there, that was Paisley. And of course, this is Pearl, and this is Ruby, and my little shy one, which is Raptor, is right here. So Ruby, she don't take any prisoners. This is her favorite treat. And uh, it's <laughs> Pearl's favorite treat as well. So they've started um, getting treats now. And of course that means we've put them on grit. Um, we had, well it was kind of a scary thing. But it wasn't, once I read about it I realized it wasn't a scary thing. They each had knots on their chest right about here. And <laughs> where are you going, Raptor? You going to be the first one to come out? Okay, girls, you, you, you do that. Okay, so here's Raptor. She's come out. We're going to put her back in <laughs> so she stops freaking out. Okay, here, girls. Sorry. I'm sorry. Here you go. Anyways, it, it, and that was their gizzard that filled up. And thankfully, I, I had the probiotic and I had the grit, which they had already gotten the grit, but I didn't know that that would fill up. But that oh, by 24 hours, they, they were okay because I guess that's normal. But you can see how much they love this watermelon. Now this is ice cold watermelon. This is something we want to get them used to. Because in the summer when they're outside, we'll be giving them frozen treat, like frozen icicles with fruit in it. So they absolutely love this. And they don't get this every day. This is a treat. They've also tried strawberries. They didn't like strawberries. 
Um, they tried cabbage leaves. They did not like the cabbage leaves, but loved um, the cauliflower leaves. They loved those. So I'll show you how I work with them every day. I'm going to set this down. Here you go, girls. Okay, so every day now we have to work with them and getting them used to being picked up. And the reason for that is settle. Hey, hey. Pearl, Pearl. Now she, you can see, there's Pearl's wings. Can you see that? She's got almost all of her wing feathers. As you can see, they do not like to be picked up, and I don't want them to get used to being picked up. I just want them to get used to me handling them in the event. Come here, Ruby. And this is Ruby. It's okay, Ruby. Now, some of them, as you can see, will calm down really quick, while others will not. <laughs> And Pearl right now does not like being held. She's not liking getting her feathers in because I think they cause her some pain. And <laughs> I know Ruby said no. Come and get petting. Now Ruby likes to be petted. And which is new. She really likes right here at her neck. She absolutely loves that. That's her favorite thing. That's why she's getting in my hand. And this little girl right here, this is Raptor that's getting out. We're gonna put her back in. <laughs> Stay in there, Ruby. Stay in there. Stay in there, Ruby. So you can see they're kind of in that ugly stage. They're in the stage of they're losing their fuzz and getting their feathers. But they're all doing really well. I don't know if you can see right here, if you can see Raptor's feet. Sorry for that interruption. Little one came. Okay, back to, you can't see her now, but this little one right here, this is Paisley. For those of you who wanted to see Paisley, you can see she's gotten almost all of her feathers down her back and on her tail. Ruby, you can't come out right now. Ruby's trying to come out and walk about, but the cats and the dogs are out, so we can't, we can't let her do that. This one right here is Paisley. This is Oster, no, this is Raptor. That one, <laughs> this is Ruby. <laughs> You guys stay in there, Ruby. This is Paisley. This is Paisley right here. And this one right here is Ostara. And of course you know who Pearl is. You can't come out, Ruby. So, let me get a hold of her. Come here, Ruby. See, the dogs are out. Okay, so what? Okay, go in there since she's out. Now the dogs don't mess with them. But we also don't want to take a chance, and that's Pickles that's uh, got her big nuzzle in the camera right now, sniffing everything. <laughs> okay, had to get up. Pickles was uh, being kind of difficult. So I wanted to show you a few things that, that have changed. They still have the same feeder, and I'm getting ready to get them a bigger feeder. And then I got them a bigger water because you see how this has the the lid on it their other water has that as well and they were able to get that off and then they were spilling it in here so we switched that out to this one it's a bigger one it'll go out into their bigger chicken coop and this has the ability to hang from the chicken coop itself and then this is their grit this is for the baby chicks it recommended ground granite now i know a lot of people give crushed oyster shells but they didn't have that for baby chicks. And then of course they've gotten a new toy. There's xylophone over there. But they're doing really well. For 20 days they look good and we're about to start our adventures of taking trips outside and kind of getting used to the grass under our feet. So when the time comes at 10 weeks we can trans transition them outside full time. And then one more time. This is Pearl, <laughs> this one's Ruby, this little girl who won't come to me right there is Raptor, that is Paisley, and the little shy girl over there, that's Ostara. So those are our five chickens at 20, we, we've had them for 20 days now, and man have they changed. <laughs>
Thanks for hanging out with me today during this little chicken vlog. I truly hope you enjoy these vlogs. I like doing them because I think it's really neat to document what's going on each week with our chickens. Um, it'll help me in the future, you know, if I have to get more chickens, I can look back and say, okay, well, they were this age when they did this, and this happened at this age. But more importantly, I hope that some of you are finding value in this because I know some of you out there are first-time chicken mamas as well. And it can be a little scary when we're kind of out here all by ourselves. But as that, with that said, if you have any helpful hints or advice or treats that you know will be good for them, please put that down in the comments. I would love to hear from you. Till I see you in the next video, you all take care of yourself. You keep your heads up and you keep growing. Bye-bye.